Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Gill. It's a book of a uh, book of poetry, and you're looking at up to 180 pages, and you do get a few drawings throughout the book. It's more like sketches that I want to say. So. Got that. And like this one, I I like because you got the Neuschwanstein interpretation there, and I'm kind of a sucker for a Neuschwanstein interpretation drawing, so I like that. <laughs> And poems are about characters we've seen in a di in different types of fairy tales. You get like Peter and Wendy, um, Red Riding Hood, Alice, Hatter, and a whole lot of other characters. So it's not the like you're kind of getting not just like Brothers Grimm or slash Disney interpretations of these like visions. Some people may <laughs> get that, but there might be that Disney influence because if you, you may have a vision of like the Disney version image pa um, pop up, but like it all depends on which variation of the character that you like, but not the point. <laughs> and, okay, I wrote one of the lines from one of the poems called The Red Wolf. Grief makes unlikely warriors of us all. For some reason, I like that. And then you get, some are like a short paragraph in the poem telling a story. And in a way, it's a little more effective with her doing the poem in like paragraph form than the typical like one line per like, yeah, one sentence per line. So some are like that. Others are the paragraph formation and it totally works. And you kind of get a like a different look into these characters like spun like flipped on their head kind of thing. Like some, again, some are short, some are longer, again, with the paragraphs in them. What we can, it's like what we can learn from them. Some poems not about the character. And modern day, there are some mo like modern day poems like catcalling and like dealing with hunger. So uh, one ice. Okay, so, like, one is from, like, the picture I just showed, the modern-day fairy tale. These days falling in love is letting your soft, innocent heart get into a car with a dangerous stranger and just praying nothing dreadful happens to it. So, there we go. And, like, you kind of, and she's kind of, like, questioning, like, our interpretation of, like, you kind of, the kind of like Disney interpretation of them, like what if, um, question the fairy tale, uh, what if Cinderella had an attitude problem and Snow White just liked the idea of strangers and poisons too much, what if the Little Mermaid always enjoyed human company more than her own kinds, and Sleeping Beauty just liked her solitude more than human touch. So. You do get that, and then, like, you get Wicked Witch of, like, the West's letter to Dorothy and other poems as well. And so you got the fairy tale interpretation, and you got, like, some modern day kind of, like, fairy tale poems. And so I really, like, I'm, I really enjoyed that, and...
for some reason this year I've been kind of like on a poetry crick kick a few times this year so I actually really enjoyed that than like one or two of the other ones that I've read but yeah Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Gill happy readings